the angle of depression of oh, sorry from the top of the tower AP so this is a tower AP is a tower okay so this is a tower AP okay the angle of depression from the top of the tower AP height H so the height of this tower is H of two observers B and C so these are B and C these are two observers at B and C R theta minus pi by 4 minus theta and pi by 4 plus theta respectively if A, B and C are all on the horizontal ground you can see A, B and C are on the horizontal ground prove that the horizontal distance between B and C is uh, x is equal to 2 h times tan 2 theta. So let us first uh, put some values in the graph in the, the diagram. So the angle of depression from the top, so this P is the top of the tower of, uh, of B is pi by 4 minus 45. Now pi by 4 I like to write in terms of degrees. So this is nothing but 45 minus theta okay so can I write this so the angle of depression of B so this angle is 45 minus theta 45 minus theta okay so this is 45 degree minus theta and the angle of depression of B sorry C from P is pi by 4 plus 40 plus theta so this angle is uh, let me show write it here so this is 45 plus theta okay <clears throat> so using uh, the z angle or alternate angle so these two line ap so let me use a different color can you see this line is parallel to this line so can you see an alternate angle so if this angle is 45 which angle would be 45 so if sorry if this angle this angle b p suppose let me call this a q okay so if angle b p q is 45 minus theta can you see a z angle or an alternate angle so this angle is also 45 minus theta okay in the same way this if this angle if this angle that is angle C P Q is 45 plus theta this angle will also be 45 plus theta using alternate angles and parallel lines okay so obviously I think you can see that this angle this angle is 2 theta okay I'm not that's not that important but I hope you can see this angle will be 2 theta just to explain where did this 2 theta come from so I want you to figure that yourself I think I'll just write this I want you to think and figure that out yourself okay so if this angle is 45 plus theta and this angle is 45 minus theta this angle is related to this angle and this angle so okay so let us we want to prove basically x is equal to 2h tan 2 theta so we're going to consider two right angle triangles and so this is so let us say in triangle I want to keep the figure I want to squeeze my let me delete this now so so let me use a blue color in in triangle let us take the big triangle B A P B A P using Sokatoa can I say 10 10 this angle which is 45 minus theta is what is the opposite of 45 minus theta in this triangle B A P so the opposite is H and the hypotenuse is this B A so let me draw say I'm calling this as say A so let me use this as A, small letter A. So I hope you can see that this whole length would be X plus A. Am I making sense? 
it will be x plus a okay this will be x plus a okay so what can we do so uh, can we say uh, 1045 minus theta is opposite over adjacent which is x plus a so i want to write if you make this x plus a the subject can i write x plus a for cross multiplying is equal to h over 10 45 minus theta 45 minus theta and now if you make a the subject if you make a the subject is h over 10 45 minus theta minus x so i'm going to call this a result one i'm going to call this result one okay so in triangle so let me use a different color let me use brown now in triangle in triangle c a p i'm talking about this triangle c a p in triangle c a p what can we say about 10 45 plus theta so this angle 10 45 plus theta using soka toa 10 is opposite over adjacent which is h over a so if you make a the subject this implies a is equal to cross multiplying h over 10 45 plus theta 45 plus theta okay so look at result one and result two what is result one result one is with respect to a and result two is also with respect to a so if you say result a so result one is a is equal to this whole thing and result two is a is equal to this so from one and two using logic so let me use a neutral color from one and two what is that you can say from one and two i can say this is equal to this so let me write this like this so therefore h over 10 45 minus theta minus x is equal to h over 10 45 plus theta i want to make x the subject i i hope you can see where am i going i want to by these two steps i have eliminated a so comparing result one and two can you see a is eliminated and i want to ultimately get in terms of x h and theta so you've got x you got h and you got theta so if you make x the subject so let us move this to this side and moving this to this side okay so can i say h over 10 45 minus theta minus h over 10 45 plus theta is equal to x okay so what will happen now so i can factor out so i'll write x is equal to you can factor out an h here so if you factor out an h this will be 1 over 10 45 minus theta minus 1 over 10 45 plus theta now if you go in a systematic and a methodic manner you'll always get the answer but the problem is you get too anxious whether you're going the right way so now what can we do okay so as i tell my students when you don't know what to do do what you know okay so when you look at this you get all confused and say well I ca what can i do i can cross multiply okay or take making the denominators same so it is cross multiplying so this is one times 10 45 plus theta minus 1 times 10 45 oh i should use a big bracket here sorry so this is i used need to use one more bracket here so i hope you can see this i'm getting 
a bit confused here. So this is 10, 45 plus theta. Let me use a big bracket here. So your working should be methodical. So this is 10, 1, I'm just, just call, cross multiplying. 10, 1 times 10, 45 minus theta, close the bracket, over, you have to write 10, 45 minus theta, times 10, 45 plus theta. So this is simple. If you're adding two fractions, how would you do that? That's the same approach here. So you cross multiply. I hope you understand that step. So this is x is equal to, I'll keep h out. So let's expand this. So this is 1 times this is 10, 45 plus theta minus 10, 45 minus theta, 45 minus theta over this whole thing, which is 10, 45 minus theta times 10, 45 plus theta. So you can pause this video and then try to do the next step. So which what step should I do now? Which formula can you apply in the numerator? So let me change color. So this is x is equal to h times. I'm, I'm going to use the compound angle formula. So hopefully you know the compound angle formula of 10. Okay, so what can we do? So let us use the compound angle formula for 10, a plus b. Okay, now before I use the 10 compound angle formula for 10, so let me write this like this, it will be helpful. So I'm going to write the numerator like this. So this is 10, 45 plus theta, minus 10, 45 minus theta. 10, 45 minus theta, divided by or times one over, 10, 45 minus theta, so the bell has gone, times 10, 45 plus theta. So I will play, I will do the next part in the next video. I have taken too many, too much time. So I will continue in the next, next